you think those sentiments are from the grassroots that need to be taken on board at this conference? Well, clearly, I, I think that when they believe that we have done a lot as a party, they want us to keep trumpeting these achievements, and they believe that um, even uh, the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement. We need to also um, help them understand some of the programs and policies that we're rolling out. They are definitely on board the various initiatives of government. But what we also intend doing is to provide greater care for them as well. We do care for them. The party has been doing well in our own way. So has the government. But for us as leadership of the party, we will also continue to take greater care for our foot soldiers as well. Particularly electing a flag bearer two years into the administration. Um, what do you make of some of these proposals in the first place? Well, I believe that the party really need to look at the current situation in which we find ourselves, taking cognizance of what happened in the last election and to address issues that may have contributed to our poor performance. We need to strengthen democracy in our party. We have to expand the frontiers of democracy. So all our activities, particularly relating to elections, should be transparent, democratic, and open so that people can accept in good faith if they win or lose. What has happened is such that there is a sense that there is some degree of capriciousness in deciding who runs on the polls, who goes for a challenge, we need to straighten that. We also need to expand the base of those that are participating in all these process. I happen to believe that at the constituency level, all registered members of our party must vote to determine who becomes our MP or potential MP. Because the amount of seats that we lost in the last election can be attributed in part to this lack of transparency in the processes. Here is the misfortune. I want to welcome you all. I have seen a 158 page document that is the gathering of all the ideas that came by. I have not seen the final product. So I must say that it is unfortunate that we are here at conference and the final document has not been seen by many. Article 18 of our constitution also requires that this document ought to have gone back to the regions and to the constituencies for their final review before coming back to conference. That has not been done. So we are in, in a difficult process constitutionally. This matter of early Congress has always been mooted and shot down from 93. Every time. So why have we put something in our constitution with justification? And why are we trying to run away from it? Our argument was that you did not need to create a lame duck president early in the term and that you ought to allow the sitting president a fuller term. The second argument to this was that you did not want a distraction by a newly elected presidential candidate who, after all, will be riding on the performance of the sitting president. At the last National Executive Committee meeting, which I attended, um, the committee that the Constitutional Review Committee said they had received 99 proposals. Well, of course, you know, a constitution is a sacred document. You can't touch it just for touching sake. It has to be something very drastic, very significant for us to agree to change a, a part of the constitution. And so constitutions sometimes can go decades without being touched. So 99 pro proposals in the view of the NEC was thought to be too large. 
But of course, the, the, this Congress is the largest body. What I do believe is that at the end of the day, the Congress or the conference will give the National Executive Committee the authority to go into the detail of it. Because um, there have been a lot of uh, proposals being bandied about, but most importantly, we have to look at the sanctity of our party's constitution. As it's presently constituted, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, five delegates at each polling station amounting to close to what, 300,000 or 200,000 delegates voting, that will be the supreme will of the party people.